My name is Janine and I was diagnosed with leukemia when I was five years old. My pediatrician diagnosed me and we went to Children's Memorial shortly after that and I just remember the nurses and the doctors being all around me and doing blood work and IV starts and trying to figure out what they were going to do for me. And when I started out, they did a lot of spinal taps. They were doing spinal taps every hour for the first 48 hours so I didn't sleep very long um, and the nurses, they had to get an IV in me and it took I would have to say 15, 16 times just to get an IV in me and they started chemo right away and you know you lose your hair and you're vomiting and things like that. And they had this four year old child that was perfectly healthy one day and then complained of cold symptoms and the next day you know your kid has cancer it's not good to it's not easy to hear, but um, they did really well with it, and you know, they did talk about times when they were scared, they didn't know if I was going to make it, there were times when funeral arrangements were going to be made for me, but then I pulled through it somehow, and you know, they were scared, but they are definitely my rock, they're the reason I got through it. And I feel so incredibly lucky to be here and be a happy, healthy kid. You know, I had roommates who didn't make it or had horrible side effects from their chemo. You know, they can't have children or they're just really sick or um, all the time. But I was lucky. I mean, when I tell people I had cancer, they're shocked. You know, there's a certain look that people think you're supposed to have when you have cancer. And they look at me and they're like, no. But I am a cancer survivor, so that's <laughs> what it looks like. <laughs> I became a pediatric nurse because of those nurses and doctors and I wanted to give back and help those kids that went through what I did. I look at those kids and you know I really want to fight hard for them and, and take good care of them because I got that great care so I want to do the same for them. When you think of donating, don't think of it as a money thing. Think of it as a parent who's scared who's going to lose their child, a child who's scared that they're going to lose their parents because they're not going to be there anymore, a mother, a daughter, an aunt, a brother, an uncle. It's very hard to go through. Um, it's painful. You know, you don't you don't know what's going to happen, but knowing that you know, you can be a part of someone's life somehow, it really does get them through it. It got me through it, you know, it gets, it's really important.